I don't know. In, g in general, we're pretty much uh, probably considered a subspecies of the human, <laughs> human population. Have we got anyone stupid enough to throw a beer bottle on the road? What? No. Pardon? No way. Like no way. Hey, to tell you the truth, to tell you the truth, we had some stupid kids up in here, and like they were starting to fight, and we, we kicked them out. Excuse me, we mate. These them. guys are pros from America, and they've come out here on their tour. And, and then these kids are fighting in a room, they started throwing stuff, out. Yeah. and kicked their ass out. Kicked out. And the reason they were kicked out was because they were being fucked. Hey, did you see them? They 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 it was a lot of life and death for me. Like, my parents were fucked. They 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 were fucked because that was everything to me, absolutely everything. I mean, I did my school, I did my, I was living in the country, there's nothing to do. Besides, you know, you do your homework and you skate and talk to the cows and the dogs. Rodney Mullen can skate everything, dude. The only reason he won't go out and do that is because why learn a trick in front of 10,000 kids when you know every other one? And I'm still kind of serious, you know, I mean, I try hard when I'm out there. But, hey, I'm the old man. I'm just glad to be here. They think we got beef because I skated for World, and we had bad terms. They wrote something about me in the magazine, and I remember I called them up, like little hyper kid, and dissed them. But I got nothing but loving them. We're older, we're on another level. I think Rodney's rad, man. He's complete opposite of the type of skating that I that I do myself, but but I, I have so much respect for him because he's so consistent and he does these tricks that you know, like it's basically a math equation, the trick itself, you know, and he does it every time, you know. He's he just it's all calculated and it's sick. Like you can totally see Rodney's personality in skating. I haven't known Rodney that long, but geez, in chat, of course. You know, they, I don't know, those guys have been like super good. Like, they're more like family to me than anybody else has been. And Gershaw would always just be his own thing, you know? And I'd see him in the contest and he'd be killing it. Just in his own world, click, click, everything. Gershaw's intimidating everyone to death. And then I realized, man, this guy is, a, this is the raddest guy. I, I have more fun doing it for myself than doing it for a crowd. And I figure if I do it the way I want to do it, then other people will be happy. Everything is Gershon's strength. Like you can take him anywhere. Yeah, every single demo we've gone to, he's ripped, you know? Because like, he goes out there and he's like a machine, you know? Like, you just turn the switch on, he goes out there, he skates, and you've got to stop him. It's not like I'm going through, like, a really traumatic life or anything, but at the same time, it's kind of hard to deal with just people on a regular, regular basis because most people don't look at you as a person. They look at you as, oh, that's that guy from the magazine or the video. And it's just hard to like be looked at like that for me because of my background, I'm not used to people prying into my life, so it's weird. He's one of the most amazing people I've met in that he's like, he's so conscious of what he can do and he's been through so much, but he remains like such on a tight, straight course of, um, he keeps himself in check. He never lets him fall out like, yeah, I'm this or I'm the best or, and not to say that, you know, not to say that there aren't people like that who are always humble, but, but, but Gershon is so extreme. Are you shitting? You got an Earl? He has, he has too much hey, look at my, right my dope ass autograph right here. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around, show it to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a big hey. Show it to the camera. Hey, a pussy. Hey. Guy just kind of, he, he's like the godfather. <laughs> he just sits there and he just kind of dictates or whatever. You know, the only thing I knew about Guy Mariano was what I've seen in videos and what I, you know, I've seen in photos, and that ain't, that's nothing, you know? And it's rad to learn something new about somebody, like, just to be like, wow, I didn't even know that they skated like this or they even like this type of skating. It goes up and down, basically. And how did you do that one over there? I guess doing that um, tail drop yesterday. Wait, what? Oh, well, possibly he must have gone downstairs. Slamming. Uh, what do you want to do?
And then there's Ryan. His personality is like really, I don't know, he, he's super mellow, just kind of cruises with everything. But I don't know, you get him on a skateboard, he's Tasmanian devil. <laughs> I learn more every day on my skateboard, like real life stuff. In the end, it's an opportunity, you know? When you can step on a skateboard, there's so many different paths that you can take. Does it look even? Does it look even? It doesn't really matter to me. Ah, I like that, a little swap. Now I gotta go to 104 and smoke the boys out. Are they down there? Yeah, you wanna go down there? Yeah. Moms get liberties, you know, with their children. And when he was little, he was Mikey. And when he got older, he was Michael. So he's just Mike to the world and Michael to me. <laughs> Mike's, Mike's all hyper, and you can tell like when he's into it, he does his tricks and he's all, he gets all into it, you know? Like, I don't know, he just, I don't know, he does funny stuff. Like, he'll, he'll just do poses or whatever. His uh, character's always showing through. When it comes to skateboarding, I'm 12 years old, still loving it. Like, I need to ride. Setting up boards, I do it carefully. I won't just slap on grip tape. Like, I look at my boards in the concave and look at the colors. I mean, hey, it's fun. It's still supposed to be a fun little thing. And the young ones, like, I know it was hard on Mike York. Because I used to have temper tantrums. King stressor, I was the main stress case. Turning pro, I had to, like, you know, grow up and be like, okay, I can't stress skating, and if it takes me 10 hours to do a trick, oh well, I'll be 10 hours better when I land it. He's a good kid. I respect him, I do. I respect that kid a lot. If it died out, I wouldn't care, I would still skateboard, because money can't buy that feeling of landing a trick, of accomplishing something like, yeah, rolling away is some, is some shit. <laughs> it definitely is.